you guys are you're not going to get any audio from me, so you're going to have to watch along. Right. Do you have headphones? Bringing us in. Yeah, gotcha. All right, here we go. Just barely made it in under time. Oh, man. Let's get this guy full screen. Pick uh, my volume up here. Oh, yeah, those, those strings. I know you wish things were different. I wish things were different. Ellie! But they ain't. Please stop! I'm leaving tomorrow. God damn it. To do this smart, we'd be leaving Jackson vulnerable. Are you guys getting any weird audio delay, or is that just me? Uh, I'm, not, I'll tell you, I'm not seeing it, but I'll. Nah, let's get to me. I'm like a few seconds ahead of what your guys are looking at in the hangout. I'm getting audio oh. delay. I want what you I'm want. watching it. On uh, my own browser. Yeah, same. But I'm, I'm. It's a few seconds ahead than the hangout. Yeah, no, yeah. I have, Ooh. I have an audio video delay. Cool Asian hero. Ooh. Ooh. We could have killed you. Maybe you should have. I'm Neil Druckmann, Vice President of Naughty Dog and the Director of The Last of Us Part Two. We're just a few weeks away from launch on June 19th, when the game will finally be in your hands. The wait has been long, and we're extremely grateful for your patience especially now in the midst of these unprecedented and challenging times. We hope you're all taking care of yourselves and that you, your friends, and your loved ones are doing well. Because of these extraordinary circumstances, we can't be together in this final stretch and share the experience like we usually would. So today we're trying something different, something we've never done before. Over the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to give you an in-depth look into what awaits you in The Last of Us Part Two, including new details about the gameplay experience and story. And to cap it all off, we'll be showing a never before seen lengthy gameplay sequence. Yeah. You'll definitely want to stick around for that. I don't know what happened. I was supposed to take her to the Fireflies and walk away. They were actually going to make a cure. The only catch. It would kill her. The Last of Us Part Two picks up Ellie and Joel's story several years after the events of the first game. Ellie and Joel have settled in Jackson, Wyoming, amongst a thriving community of survivors. With the threats of the world kept outside the town's walls, Jackson has been able to find relative peace and even stability. Ellie is now 19, lives on her own, and has been able to forge lasting relationships within the community. 
scale of one to ten, how would you rate our kiss from last night? They would lead with that. What, from the first trailer? This piece Mm -hmm. is short-lived. Jackson and Ellie suffer a violent and traumatizing event. Ellie sets off back into the treacherous outside world in search of retribution and justice. Her journey will take her to new parts of the country, previously unexplored in The Last of Us. The story spans multiple seasons and climates, from the snow-capped mountains of Jackson to the lush Pacific Northwest. Each introduces a wide range of exterior and interior environments for you to navigate and explore, rendered in meticulous detail and unprecedented (coughs) scale with the latest iteration of the Naughty Dog engine. Our goal was to make these environments not only beautiful, but feel as grounded and authentic to the cities they're based on as possible. Much of the story unfolds in what remains of Seattle, a massive former quarantine zone. Its locales are incredibly diverse, spanning a dense <coughs> city center with a Wait, skyline. Wait, can you actually jump now? To the beautiful suburbs and stormy water. <laughs> what did you around. say? Can you yeah, actually the city jump now? Drastic shifts in architecture, elevation, and weather. And with part two, we've introduced new traversal mechanics that afford greater exploration. Oh, new traversal mechanics. Threats. Yeah. Ellie is not only able to climb and jump over gaps. You're definitely like 10 seconds ahead of me. Vertical terrain or swing over obstacles. Allowing yeah, same as me. Areas, resources and side narratives. And the audio is still screwed up on this stream. New strategic considerations in combat. Whether it's to get the jump on enemies or bypass them entirely. I don't know if it's the video. The Last of Us Part 2 features some of the- I'm gonna refresh, just... Sorry, folks. See if it fixes However, it. the world of The Last of Us is as lush and inviting as it is deadly. As Ellie uncovers the path to finding those who have wronged- What I'm noticing here is water. Of this Lots of city. water. Well, it's in Seattle. The, of the pandemic and the fall of the quarantine zone, Seattle has become a war I think the audio zone. delay got Two fixed. Factions find themselves cool. in an ongoing conflict I think. Territory Hopefully I'm not resources. saying it too soon. Thanks, Brandon. Oh, cool. We got factions. One of these groups is the Washington Liberation Front, otherwise known as the WLF. The WLF are a militia group that began as resistance to the military occupation of Seattle. We're going to be playing Far Cry now. Control the yeah. From them. Captured their bases. They are highly trained organized and well equipped with weapons they stole from the army they occupy much of the city imprisoning or killing trespassers on site hey we got another trespasser a girl did you see her (laughs) on the other side of this bloody conflict is a group of religious zealots called the seraphites or scars defined by the self-inflicted deep cuts that they bear across their faces Like the WLF, they're deeply tribalistic and territorial. They're known for being stealthy, using overgrowth as cover, and they use more solid weapons like bows and arrows. Clipper wings. I'm gonna take some notes here. But beyond this conflict among survivors, the threat that originally brought the world to its knees is very much present. Every human is in danger of falling victim to the infected. There are the recently infected runners who are more numerous and aggressive in this game. The blind but extremely deadly clickers and the stalkers who sneak and hide until they're ready to attack, surprising their victims with extreme agility and brutal violence. The Last of Us Part 2 introduces new stages of infected, such as the Shamblers. Large, heavily armored enemies that are covered in pustule. Upon getting close to you, they expel a corrosive spore cloud that burns its victims. But our most terrifying and lethal new forms of infected will have to wait until you- I knew it! I was like, I knew they were gonna say, you're gonna have to wait to see the new- the the worst one. These threats will require careful oh no, my fucking feet just got fucked every up. Every combat encounter and how you leverage all your skills, equipment, and the environment to your advantage. The WLF patrol the streets of Seattle with guard dogs, which are capable of detecting and following you, even while in cover. You 
think this guy's connected to the they can pick up your scent and alert their handlers to your presence. Listen mode will reveal your scent trail, so keep moving and cause distractions to avoid detection. 25 years after the pandemic began, the world is completely overgrown. Use tall grass to hide from enemies and go prone to stay out of sight. Oh my god. This form of analog stealth means you're never fully hidden. If enemies get close enough, they can discover you. You're referring to the uh, changing pr positions, Bob? Well, that and um, or crawl through like tight spaces, escaping, you can break paths, glass to jump through windows. Evade, or take on your enemies. In any given yeah, we saw some of this in some of the earlier footage. To regain the advantage. Uh -huh. Like it wasn't explained explicitly to us, but a variety of tools at your disposal. Ellie's more agile oh, than most of her counterattacking with melee and fighting. Dodge incoming attacks. Learning how opponents attack with different weapons. So awesome animation. Timing of your dodges mm. will prevent you from taking damage and create opportunities to counterattack. Oh yeah. You can use throwable items or well-placed shots to stun enemies before dealing a killing blow. Or that's my girl. Them as a shield to protect yourself or buy some time to figure out your next move. <laughs> Ellie isn't always alone on her journey. Allies will take part in helping you navigate the environments, spot enemies, and meaningfully help you in combat encounters. That's totally your girlfriend helping you. <laughs> and now it's the dude. Yeah. It's Glenn Ree. Right. Oh, the axe. Oh, that was lovely. Between the human survivors and the roaming infected, there will be times where multiple threats are present, creating new strategic considerations and opportunities. Lighting. Yeah, mm -hmm. really. You can choose whether to attack these opponents separately and directly, or find ways to pit them against each other. Please, they fight or wait until their numbers have thinned out and engage with whomever's left. Oh, that's great. Our goal is to create unparalleled attention, coupled with deep systems that give you greater control and influence over your journey. As you play, you'll be able to invest in a broad collection of crafting items, weapon, and player upgrades through training manuals scattered throughout the environment and scavenging for ingredients. These skills and upgrade manuals cater to a variety of play styles, and the choices you make will create your own distinct experience. We also wanted to extend that agency and personalization to your weapons through our new workbench system. Scavenge for parts to modify and improve your weapon's performance and attributes, all of which are visualized and become part of your character. Better zero that scope. I was just thinking about that. <laughs> Survival will also require using the parts and ingredients that you'll find in the environment, which can be crafted into a wide range of defensive and offensive items, like proximity mines. That item is offensive. Arrows, pistol suppressors, <laughs> and more. these gameplay systems are meant to immerse you in the world and make you feel in lockstep with Ellie's emotional journey. That was the first scene we saw in that first trailer. Uh -huh. As we've said before, yeah. this is Naughty Dog's largest, most ambitious game. It may seem like we covered a lot, but we've only scratched the surface of what it's like to play Here we the go. Last of Us Part 2. We can't wait for you to experience it all for yourself on June 19th. Until then, here's an extended sequence of never before seen yeah, yeah. gameplay. Enjoy. All right. Wow. Dude.
the water. Yeah. Is it better than Unreal 5's water? <laughs> <laughs> Got a hair in my mouth. Did you find her yet? Shit. Yeah, I mean, you called it out too, but things I'm definitely noticing are water and lighting here. Mm -hmm. Isaac's not happy about light reflecting in the water there the, that's i was awesome. just about to say the reflections like yeah. even just looking at the that's regular like, water i wonder if that's rtx or some something else well i mean this isn't going to be on uh pc as far as i know so it's got to be running on current um, yeah current processes and hardware. Stuff, yeah but the reflections are are almost rtx like so i'm yeah. wondering if if there's ray tracing here or... well no because the current gen console won't support it i mean i mean they can they can do some things it's not like as far as i know yeah cause... but i mean what i guess i'm trying to say is i think that's some trickery like the reflections yeah, right. i don't think it's like right like almost We're like also... baked in with like yeah. a filter over it when you disturb the water I, I hear what's happening Breathing. Don't make a fucking sound. Hands up. Just got the music. Do you know a girl named Nora? Sure, I know. Where is she? She's playing Hotline Miami. Yeah, they're, they're clearing out the upper floors. She's somewhere in there. It's awesome. Damn. Rose Tika from Star Wars just got stabbed in the throat. Ellie is like a savage with that blade. Oh yeah. I wanted her to look at the screen and see if it's actually Hotline Miami. I mean, what else could she be playing with that song? I think you nailed it, dude. Oh dude, if I was playing, I would have stuck around and listened to that song for a while. God damn it, you guys keep talking when there's dialogue in my, in my fucking oh, stream. Oh, well you're fucking ahead of us. <laughs> yeah, dude, refresh your browser. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Data soldier. It makes these shifts so much easier. <laughs> sure. I'll keep that in mind. Fuck. Sounds like scars are getting closer. But that's our guys executing those freaks. Hey. Did you hear how we're all getting called up to the fog? That sound. Isaac wants us to reach oh, that, yeah, that was... I heard we might take the fight to them. I think Scott would have... No way. Shat his pants if he heard that. Time. Yeah. Even Isaac isn't that crazy. That's what I heard. Are you gonna get to use it like a bunch of times though? That's the thing. Right? Like, no, it you, it's sound? got a meter on it. Yeah, but in Talking reality, about... yeah, the suppressor. In reality, a suppressor like that, you'd only get like one shot out of. Yeah, it'd be the first one. I think you get three shots out of it. Look like it's got a bar of just three, three dots. Yeah. Although who is knows? Is that just a plastic bottle on her gun, or is that a oil it's can got, or something? It's a plastic bottle, but it's stuffed with stuff. Okay, got it. Padding of some sort. Let me put that malt, that burning malt off in my pocket. <laughs> Okay, here comes the dog mechanic. Oh, Scott can't play this game. Oh my god, the dog whimper. Yeah, Scott will not be able to play this game. They went there. Fucking naughty dog. They're always just gonna be like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 
It's cool how you just took the magazine out of the gun there. Hmm. Like the model physically represented that. Saw movement. I'll go check it out. That was awesome. Holy shit. Holy shit. Look out! Move! Over here! <laughs> Drop her now, fuck! Asshole! <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what does she have? The kneecapper. Basically a two by four with like railroad spikes in it. Oh. Cool. Really cool. Dude, it's been so long, I kind of forgot how cinematic just the gameplay can be in this game. Mm. Oh, we got more roaches reacting to light. <laughs> that you, Nora? This is GTA San Andreas also. Yeah. Or wait, GTA 5? No, I think it was San Andreas had this song. You're gonna tell us where she went. When Isaac talks to us about this, I'm getting tired of this. Nora. Nora! I'm not going down for her, man. The licensed soundtrack is kind of a nice touch, though. Yeah, always is. Don't scream. Put that shit down. Dude, Ellie's a fucking gangster. You remember me? Yeah. You remember me. Oh! Captured from PS4 Pro. Man. Got in. Here we go. All right, is that it? That's it. That's it. Well, what do you guys think? Loved it. Just making sure that's it, and then yeah, it's that's it. Yeah, it's that's over it. on right. my end. <laughs> yeah, because you're ahead of us. You, I just clicked on the link you sent to the Discord. It's not my fault that I got a better link. You <laughs> got a better <laughs> link. All right. So yeah, uh, real quick, what do you guys think? You guys have both played The Last of Us. I'm assuming you both have, since you're both PlayStation owners. Mm -hmm. um, yes. You know, what do you think? Is it is it filling up to your expectations? How did you feel after the first one? How do you feel this one is going to take you? Yeah, thoughts. Uh, I mean, I, Bobby, if you want to go first, I took some notes, so I'll remember my stuff. If you want to just say your initial impressions. Yeah, sure. Um, well, I thought it looked great. I mean, 
I love the fact that they added new mechanics like traversal and whatnot, and let alone being able to jump. I think it looked like you were able to jump. They said something about <laughs> jumping. <laughs> this is specifically said jumping. Yeah. <laughs> This is Bobby's like main necessity for this game. If you can't jump, it's over. Well, I, I no, it wouldn't be over. It's going to be a huge letdown if, if <laughs> you can't jump. No, I, it was just like I don't know. I, I always like being able to jump in games and not being able to. It's just so fucking annoying. Um, yeah. but um, I love the the um implementation of suppressors as well and like not making them like infinite use like they're just you know makeshift suppressors or whatever um i like the thing with the dog how it is uh, or dogs where how they can pick up your scent yeah and um and lead and lead the enemies to you and um and the the stealth being able to hide in tall grass is really cool going prone and the fact that if you're just if you're in tall grass just prone in tall grass enemies can still find you if they're close enough mm -hmm. i like i appreciate that realism so to yeah. speak well and the way they framed that was almost as if it's like oh if your front end's in tall grass but your ass is out of tall grass like <laughs> you're gonna see that it's like yeah it's like uh circumstantial like on on how like how dense the foliage and how much like of it uh of your body is actually being obscured and stuff so that's pretty cool yeah also the they showed one new enemy the uh shambler or something uh it was it looked similar to the bloater just like yeah, yeah. evolved i guess somewhere generic, somewhere in between tank yeah. zombie yeah yeah but with um, that really annoying like spewing out burning gas thing yeah, yeah. like um, I, I, that's always the thing that is super frustrating when you have an enemy that hurts you for hurting it you right, know you right. shoot it and then it's gonna start spewing crap out at you what was the uh the boomer the boomer in uh the left bloater dead. yeah the oh, bloater in left, oh, oh in the left for dead was... yeah that island but uh got left for dead yeah i don't remember <laughs> yeah they would you would like shoot them and they would like the, not only would they throw up on you but then they, if you <laughs> shot them they would explode and throw up and cover you and yeah vile and attract the horde um, the, the bloaters in the first uh last of us were fucking insane because they would like they would launch like a thing that was kind of like how the uh the shambler worked like how instead of it releasing that burning gas the bloater launched a thing that would then explode and release that like burning mm. gas and then if you, they, you got too close it would just rip you apart like fucking king kong ripping apart a t-rex's jaw <laughs> but it was pretty much exactly what it did too yeah <clears throat> Yeah, well, I mean, I'm trying to think of um, part one. How many of the infected? There really was only like what, like three or four in terms of variety. Runners, stalkers, clickers, and bloaters. So four. Yeah. Yeah. So it. I mean, it was a new IP at the time too, so they put a lot of work into a lot of things. But a little more enemy variety will go a long way for sure. Yeah, and I mean. The shamblers fit in, and they kind of like, I don't know, in my mind, contradicted themselves, but it's like totally minor. But with the, uh, you know, the shambler in a, like a lore standpoint, it's like, oh, those are just like clickers that have just like their fungus has just like grown so, so deep, you know, and mm -hmm. just like kept growing. Over well, yeah, the it's all the game. stages that yeah, it goes right. in. Um, but then they were like, oh, and there's still, like, a majority of, like, runners. Like, the majority of enemies will be runners. I was like, ah, yeah. it'd be cooler if there was, like, less less enemies, but more of the, like, like, the like you know, the the cycles of these infections have, like, yeah, been going on. Yeah, it would on. kind of, from a lore standpoint, maybe make sense, too, because, like, we there's more time has passed, and this thing is a right. pro progressive right. disease, so you would think there would be more of the further progressed forms present. Right. That's what I was but... trying to say. Um, 
Well, you, know. you have to think that since the the bloaters were always super rare, it was always at like a very like climactic moment. Yeah, so they were speak. like a mini boss. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, so you and those newer ones, the the shamblers, they're lower in a in evolution. I don't know how else to put it. So you got to think that those things might be even more common than the bloaters were. And then right. isn't there? There's still another another enemy. Yeah, the for, one uh, that that they. <sighs> The they one they didn't, didn't reveal, yeah. Yeah. I wonder so. if it's, I wonder if there's any hints to what that enemy could be in the leaks. I haven't like really dug yeah. through the leaks, but that I'm could be gonna, that so. could be somewhere between the shambler and the bloater. I'm assuming that the bloater is like maximum infected. Oh no, I, I think right. I think they have to go bigger with that one they didn't show. It has to go past the bloater. I'm thinking we're yeah, gonna yeah. see like a Gears of War berserker like kind of level thing, you know. Nemesis yeah. kind of level thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like like there may be only a handful of these in this game world kind of thing. Um yeah. but I don't know. Uh, yeah, definitely more variety in the uh, the infected enemies, but it's cool that there's more variety in the human enemies too, with the factions functioning differently. They said certain ones yeah. focus on stealth, certain ones focus on stalking you or hunting you down. I'm sure there's yes. probably one in there that's just like paramilitary, like gung ho or something. Um, yeah, so there's definitely more variety all around. I did take some notes in here. Um, I mean, they've always yeah, been good at, like, making the enemies, the human enemies, feel like real people. Like you said, they're always going to say yes to stuff, and, like, the things they say yes to usually just make it way more brutal and seem way more visceral and real. Like, you know, the combat. Um like when you had that conversation with that girl at that point but i also noticed there's like constant uh, naughty dog kind of pioneered the whole like constant um dialogue from your protagonist during gameplay where they like talk to themselves but in this game i'm noticing it almost seems like they're applying that to enemies too the enemies are constantly talking to one another uh discussing yeah. what's going on when you grab one of them they call out to the others and like say like you know don't do it or just shoot them and or whatever like i heard so many names like they're, yeah. they're going for that like we're giving every enemy a name like it's, yeah you're taking a life kind of vibe. yeah i think that's you know exactly what they're doing i think they actually probably have a name for every enemy in the I, game they probably do that which is uh, insane and they probably thought out a dozen ways which each scenario would play out and mm -hmm. like um all to give it that atmosphere and i think that's one thing that naughty dog nails um i don't know if you're done going over your points uh bobby i was just thinking um uh i don't know um graphically it looked really good you yeah. know like going back to the how the water looked that looked yeah. really nice so the, seeing the reflection on the underside of the surface yeah what i want to touch on real quick since i am not a playstation owner um so what i took from this was um atmosphere which naughty dog nails all the time mm -hmm. um but that was definitely aided by the revamped engine that they talked about that had, I mean, what I saw, you had, there's really three things, but two things mostly, and it was the water simulations and the lighting. Um, mm -hmm. And then you can, you can throw in there the vistas and the scale of some of these environments as well. Yeah. Um, but you wrap all that up in, into the naughty dog uh atmosphere package and you get something like this and yeah. like it you know each one of those frames told so much of a story just of within the environment so mm -hmm. like hats off to the environmental designers and the level builders for for this because it looks amazing yeah if i have any uh uh issues with the water it'd kind of be like what i said with the unreal engine 5 how like it should be like a little bit more disturbed as she's passing through it mm. um but then you have to simulate particles and you have to simulate... yeah i was just thinking that it would be like it would become a particle effect if you're like sloshing and splashing it around yeah yeah 
which I understand. Oh. But I mean, other than that, it looks really good for the disturbance that it does make. It looks really fucking good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really, I, the, the disturbance is just like a canned effect there. But what I'm really taking it on is the the reflections here, which have to be some sort of simulated RTX going on here. Um, yeah, and the lighting, the lighting reflecting off the water at that one point, like that one spotlight had a direct reflection off the water. So yeah, really cool. And even in this whole environment here, it's hard to see on my hangout, but uh, I, during the time, during the, the state of play, you could see all, all these objects are reflecting in the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, everything. Yeah. In, in real time. Yeah. Yeah. I Would mean, it's a PSP here. I was it's trying to figure like out. I was PSP. like, is it a right Vita there. or a PSP? I think it's a Vita. Uh, yeah, yeah, cause she's playing Hotline Miami, and I think you can play that on the Vita. <laughs> um, yeah, that's so great. But I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I think the variety in combat and stuff is a big thing. I mean, they when we look at this, they didn't really talk too much about story here. They they didn't really talk about story at all here, right? Am I missing something? Um, they gave like like in the beginning, they gave like a like a general like synopsis of yeah mostly of what we already going. knew yeah and yeah. like um what, what they said something uh in the beginning with when she that scene when she was with the other girl yeah i don't remember what they yeah. were talking about it was so general that it was it, yeah it, it, it yeah, was less it was less plot though and more just like characterization which you know yeah. helped us which kind of fed it into the gameplay thing here where it was kind of um lending itself to her state of mind as she's going through all of this so they didn't really exactly. talk about plot stuff um but yeah we focus mainly on gameplay which you know you gotta admit there's definitely more variety to gameplay in this uh between different new enemy types and these new you know items and stealth mechanics and all that um one thing that i liked too was the fact that it looks like in the first game i felt like we kind of had like this is the infected area and this is where you fight people and then you have to switch back to this is where you're gonna fight some infected and like they very rarely crossed over but i think they kind of made a point to show us like yeah no there's gonna be um parts where like that part where it's in the dark parts where yeah. you're gonna have to deal with both and you can like set them against each other um and uh yeah play off that so that's exciting too because now we have all this variety and enemy types and stuff uh and you know new ai and all that all this attention to detail and then you throw them together you know three parties yeah. at the same time yeah um, and then specifically mentioning that that subway scene or that under like that metro area yeah um uh, you know you have the factions fighting against each other going off with that the lighting in that dank like railroad tunnel oh, poor dog. Uh, it's just it's awesome yeah let's talk about the dog real quick <laughs> i mean there isn't much to say other than god damn it it's gonna be really hard for me to to do that like here the, the that was a very intense um audio cue yeah i mean again they make shit feel real and i don't yeah. want killing a dog to feel real <laughs> I don't know if you guys have played Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus, but oh, no. I I couldn't play that game because in the beginning there's a flashback where your abusive father, minor spoilers for uh, Wolfenstein 2, but there's a flashback where your abusive father like tapes your arms or straps your arms to a table and puts like a double barrel shotgun in your hand and makes you kill your pet dog. Like seriously. Like, oh my God. And I like, I, it was like making you do it. And I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I really can't do this. Um, so I did not play that game. And now yeah. I'm seeing this and I'm like, ah. Hey, it's just cool. put yourself in her shoes, man. Like, I know. It's like she had to do it. Um, but does she? I think that's she almost did, That dog, she didn't really have to. I mean, yeah, it would have kept sniffing around. Like her, her 
like we're getting into the now we're getting into character and yeah we're getting into ellie's character a little bit um and how hardened she's become well yeah yeah, and how kind of cold-hearted she's she is in this whole demo like she is just like the executioner like yeah. She was she, born into it, you know? No, no, I don't know. I think she I think, was. But the first game took place 20 years after it started, and she was only less, I don't know, 10? Yeah, but How when old Joel she found was, her, uh, she wasn't like. She was older than 10, I think, but. Maybe she, like. Thir- yeah, she, she was wasn't like over 20 years old. No, no, no. <laughs> no. So she what was I, literally what born into the apocalypse. Is, is yeah but maybe she's 16? i don't remember she seems driven by something like mm-hmm. she seems well, angry at times uh like, i haven't i haven't read the spoilers but what seems heavily implied and this is purely speculation on my part but what seems heavily implied from the trailers is that she loses her love interest pretty early on um, yeah to yeah. obviously violence by another party um well, we if also, that's what yeah, does we happen haven't, but we didn't get to see the love interest outside of the trailer until this where we did see her for a brief moment out mm-hmm. in the world with you uh and she she capped a zombie for you so yeah but i think that's going to be like early game and i think that's almost going to yeah. be like a I think uh, Ellie's going to be re-traumatized as like the shit she saw in Left Behind, the the expansion for the first game. Um, I yeah. didn't really follow that one. Well, I great. mean, pretty straightforward. She, what I'm speculating happens in this game is pretty much what happened in that. So, oh, right, 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 right. Okay, so yeah, to she have little, that, she had a little friend. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, her, like, um, discussion about her sexuality kind of was only hypothetical or or speculative in uh, the base game. It really wasn't, like, right. confirmed until... It's um, really, like, upfront or needed, like... Uh, I mean, it's for diversity's sake, kind of, um, and I think... I don't know, it's just, you know, seeing a different lead character like we get to we we get to we play video games all the time and who do we always play as pretty much straight white male oh so you know (laughs) yeah i'm not saying anything about her like i'm just saying like the in the first in the base game it wasn't really like oh she, yeah she was younger so it was well, like it was, more, I... it was joel's story it was yeah. joel shepherding her like yeah that's uh, why i think they handled that the right way because like they didn't need to shoehorn it in or put it to the front like look we have diversity in our game you know like in the no. first part of the last of us it really only became relevant in the expansion uh to yeah. further develop ellie which might have been really forward thinking on their part to the second game when they're you know making her the lead um yeah i don't know i've got like one or two more things in my notes but i don't know if you guys have anything else no i mean i keep having like like uh thoughts like springing thoughts but as you're right. talking but... undeveloped yeah so if you want to continue on your list i mean really the only other thing uh that popped out at me and it's minor by comparison i guess but um the fact that they have like the licensed soundtrack um yeah. and how i appreciated that because that does make a different like it it's one of the most effective ways for us to be like wait this is like our world you know this isn't like a it is a fictional world but it's you know it's not like another world another dimension another another thing yeah. like this is a fictional version of our world we're hearing our music it's just a really effective yeah. way to accomplish that you know the only other way is you come across a mcdonald's that's dilapidated or whatever right. and it's like you know that's how you ground it in uh you know the same universe in which or we iconic live. iconic landmarks or something yeah which again uh, you, this one's seattle right is that yeah. what it is yeah. yeah they said something about wyoming at first and then and then you're in you start seattle. in wyoming and then something takes you to see it towards seattle that's where um Wy- wyoming was where tommy's um like oh, that where outpost I, right I, I remember think. they just go west yeah 
I think that's where like Tommy's little settlement and stuff is supposed to be at this point. The hydro. But plant. I I might be wrong. I don't know. That's just what I I think I vaguely remember. But we um, do see Tommy. Yeah, yeah, in the the first trailers and stuff. Pretty yeah. much, we know you're starting out there. Um, I mean, they've kept Joel a big mystery. We don't really know if was, he's yeah. still there, if he's gone out into the world, how he's Guys. dealing with, you know. That was a oh. good sound bite that we got, though, with him saying, like, I was just supposed to go in, hand her over to the Fireflies, and that would be it, you know? So, like, he's clearly yeah. dealing with that choice that he made, which he, he has to. Like, that's huge. Yeah, right. He basically condemned the human race to further suffering mm -hmm. then again we'd so, have no part two yeah and that would suck <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah. i just want to say if they kill joe joel in this <laughs> I, i'm gonna i'm gonna be very upset like sure it could it makes for a good story yeah but I don't need my heart broken. Well, I mean, <laughs> I I haven't dead? I haven't read the spoilers. I haven't read what actually happened. I just heard people's response being negative in some regards. So even that is enough to make you think maybe they went that route. You know? Yeah. Like, um, well, I I do know what the people were pissed about. Um, uh, well, obviously, don't say it. But <laughs> I mean. It, I mean, we're 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 all speculating here, so yeah. But uh, I won't I won't go into what I heard. I guess. Um, well, what you heard was directly from the spoilers, right? Like it was something. Potentially, yeah. I mean, yeah. I heard it like third party, so yeah. No, that's still too close. I think too to, close. Yeah. yeah. So we'll just have to see. I guess we'll just yeah. have to do a freaking let's play and and. The... Yeah. Yeah. Um. God, it's so soon. June, 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 June. Yeah, June it's like nineteenth. It's yeah, just over so. two weeks away. Yeah, two and a half weeks. You know, I go oh, back wow. and forth on this on how excited I am over it, and like, I don't know. A lot of it looks really great. It's also gonna stress me the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's that crazy atmospheric shot right there. Yeah. Flares. Let me just make sure I didn't write anything else down that I really wanted to. Um. No. Yeah. Nothing worth bringing up yet until we see it. Yeah. Well. I guess we'll wrap up this uh, live reaction then. Mm -hmm. uh, closing thoughts, anybody? Can't so wait! Cool. Look at that! I love the I love the the zombies chasing the people through the. It's kind of funny how they just like kind of go off screen. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like okay, bye. Oh, right here. This is something else. Um, the training books or upgrade books that mm -hmm. wasn't that's a new uh, mechanic, isn't it? I think oh, wait, no, so. No, you found something. Yeah, like, I'm trying to remember how you upgraded your health and stuff. God, there, it's well, you been did so collect long. like pills or something. Yeah, that you took you pills. Would... <laughs> wasn't that? Wait, I feel like there was books you would pick up that would like increase the length of your shivs or whatever, like the the health of your shivs. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, I don't know if there's something a little different with it in, in this one, yeah. um, but I was happy to see that. And also the customization of weapons, like you weren't able to attach scopes to rifles no, or anything. You were just like able to like, like the base weapons, right? I think you could like increase capacity and stuff and that was about it. Um, and like handling and yeah, weapons it was, sway or whatever. Yeah, it was almost all just statistical uh increases you know moving numbers up and down yeah um whereas well, this is actually like you know putting scopes on it magazine expansions i doubt you're gonna be able to like swap out ammo types and stuff well except for like the bow there where you can do like explosive, explosive arrows around, yeah. yeah um also the weapon selection is 
pretty uh pretty awesome looks definitely expanded from the first one yeah 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 I mean, a big thing, too, is going to be how scarce things are. We were talking about that suppressor and getting multiple shots out of it. There could be another, what was it, grounded difficulty was the highest one, I think, yes. on the first game. Yeah, there could be another one where, you know, you only get one shot out of that suppressor, and you're only going to get that suppressor, like, twice in the whole game, you know? Um I'm curious if, since it was, that was, like, a makeshift one, if you can craft them. Yeah, she or, crafted it, it right there. Components. Yeah. Oh, she did? Yeah, she did. She crafted that one. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, it was really fast. It's like the crafting is very similar to uh, the first one. Like, the, she just pulls her backpack down, the meter fills up, and it's crafted within, like, yeah, two seconds. Yeah. All right, here comes that, well, that lighting shot one more time. <laughs> yeah, the you can see it. Now it's disturbed. Very cool. Very, yeah. very cool. Huh. All right. All right. Well, keep this keep this short. Yeah. Um, I think uh, we rambled a little bit, but I think we talked about some cool stuff. Saw some cool stuff. Probably chop this up, maybe. Um, make sure we get some of our key points out there. Um, yeah. And re-upload it. If not for now, this archive is going to hang out on. Uh, wherever you're watching cool well yeah if you're here thanks for watching um let us know what you guys think about last of us part two if you're excited to play um of course now the chat starts filling up <laughs> um, but yeah we'll get this uploaded soon and um yeah i don't know it's like two and a half weeks and we'll get to play it so yep I'm hoping day one we're we're ready to go. That'd be great. I'm really hoping that. Such All a right. badass. All right. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by. We'll catch you guys next time. On the next one. Take it <laughs> easy, man. Bye bye. <laughs>